you brought a tie Cause I'm low on the phone, you see So I talk till I drop, you see How could I have a heart made of stone Why you Oh, when we synchronize It's exactly what I thought when I fantasize Playing games with my mind, making us collide And we know how it goes when we're out at night And I don't know Author and activist Angie Thomas is known for her novels written for teens and young adults. Being a lifelong basketball fan, she incorporates basketball culture and social justice issues into her hero stories. And she's a huge NBA 2K fan. You can catch her in the city hooping. And we caught up with Angie to talk basketball. A subway system in Manhattan, part of the experience here in New York. Welcome to the NBA here on 2K Sports, a special Martin Luther King Day edition. This is Kevin Harlan courtside with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our reporter tonight on the sideline, David Aldridge. DA, it's all yours. Well, Kevin, even though starters are important, those great sixth men have been the key to so many championship teams. Think about the likes of Andre Iguodala, Manu Ginobili, Lamar Odom. And still, with some, there's a stigma to coming off the bench. Iguodala said it's ingrained early, but in particular, he said, in the NBA, it's, I need to get paid like a starter. And guys, that's a sacrifice that not many are willing to line up for. David Aldridge, thank you. And a chance here to check out some stats for him. And guys, it hasn't been pretty for him in the past five games. He's having one of those scoring slumps that all players go through at some point in the season. But I know he hadn't lost his confidence, and I expect this young man to get after it here tonight. A look at the Magic starting group. At the four and the five, we have Gordon and Vucevic. Anthony is out there with Bacon, and it's Ennis in at the three, the small forward. And for New York, 
It's Randall and Robinson at the four and the five. Filling out the wings are Bullock and Barrett. And it's Peyton in at the one. It'll be the Knicks off the tip. Here's Randall. Traps in the tray. Randall's got the first basket of the game for the Knicks. In helping the team space the floor there, Randall with so much more confidence now from the outside. And stolen by Peyton. Lays it in off the breakaway. Pressuring the ball and making a play that created the opportunity. You know, you push it after a steal, there's almost no chance the defense can get back and recover. Now here's Anthony. Pass to Vucevic. Now Ennis. A shot by Anthony. Nobody around. Those three-pointers off the mark. So for the Magic, their last game a loss to Brooklyn. For three, Bullock. And the Knicks hit again from deep. And right out of the gates, they are locked and loaded. Three straight scores early. And so it's Anthony bringing it up for Orlando. Eight-point game. They get it back. Pass to Bacon. Vucevic trying to get open. Bacon's shot is off. Yeah, early on, three misses to open the game. Their offense right now still trying to find its way. Randall with the bucket. Their great outside shooting really fueling this run. Orlando, they've gone 0 of 3 from the field to start the game. The pass to Gordon to halt the run. It's rebounded by Barrett. You know, that's a quick 0 for 4 now. At what point do you call a timeout and reset? Deep two from Robinson. And it's good off the back rim and in. Five buckets without a miss. That's a fantastic start. Zero. And timeout, now timeout. the first timeout called here for the Magic. And the rim running Mitchell Robinson, the league leader in field goal percentage, Greg, in his second season. It may be the most athletic seven-footer in the game. I mean, his lob finishing sucks in the defense, creating so much space out on the floor for his teammates. Anthony, the pass to Vucevic, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And Clark, you can see Nikola Vucevic following the trend of many other centers in our league. He's incorporating that three-point shot into his arsenal. Well, how about these numbers, Greg? I mean, Vucevic was taking over four threes a game. That's um, like a perimeter player on some teams. I mean, he shoots a respectable clip from that range. Uh, but I think it's part of just trying to keep other centers honest as to why he shoots that many. And he makes the first. And although the passes aren't flashy by any means, Nikola Vucevic, a very effective playmaker at the pivot. And Vucevic is very calm when pressed. Reads the defense well and makes the simple but impactful pass Great in dribble handoffs. It's a big reason he averages almost four assists a game. And both free throws good for Vucevic. You know, he was the 16th pick in the 2011 NBA draft, and Vucevic became an all-star for the first time in 2019. Took him a while, but he got there. Barrett, no good. Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. They get it again. Vucevic... And terrific work on the offensive glass, and he picks up two. Boy, established his position with a strong base. You got to box out Vucevic better than that. Got that one up quick. 
Peyton's got five now. They're, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. It's taken away by Peyton. Drops in the breakaway layup. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Yeah, they're lasered in. I mean, really making the most of their possessions. To the paint. There's Bacon. He can't hit that time. Now the Knicks take it the other way. Their last game, a win against Boston. Looking to carry it into this one. You know, those road games are tricky. But, but they had a good strategy going in and stuck to what they do best. Yeah, you know, game balls all around in that one. A terrific team effort. They trusted in their system and executed well to get the win. Robinson dishes to Peyton. Good, and the assist goes to Robinson. He's got 10. Yeah, they built up this lead three points Six. at a time. And I like the strategy. It's a great strategy. Bury those threes early, and it'll open up the inside for them later on. Shot by Ennis. Nobody around. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. And, you know, nothing like getting an opponent on the ropes early. You love that if you're on that side of the scoreboard. And they are landing some haymakers now. Here's Bacon. Vucevic trying to get open. And again, it's the magic from deep. And, you know, even though he's not a lights-out shooter from deep, the defense still has to be more aggressive there. And Randall throws it down. I, I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. And, you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. The Magic trail by 14. They get a hand on it. It's stolen by Randall. The finish. And Randall throws it down. And look at the big fella move. I mean, you got to appreciate Randall's work ethic and what he gives this team. Now here's Anthony. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Here's Vucevic. Again, the magic score. He does not lack for confidence, and he shouldn't. I mean, this guy's a dangerous score. Here's Peyton. That three off the mark. And so it's Anthony bringing it up for the Magic. They trail by 14. Moves back up. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's on Mitchell Robinson. And you know, Gordon's so crafty and full of tricks that he keeps the defense guessing. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Knicks. Guys, they are dialed in from beyond right now. They didn't waste any time getting into a groove in this game. You know, it also hasn't taken them long to make their mark in the paint. I mean, they're doing a lot of their scoring from in there. Free throw good, Gordon. Greg, at the beginning of every season, we love to see players that have worked on something during the offseason that they now have added to their game in the new season. Yeah, no doubt about it, Kevin. You know, the work doesn't end when the season ends. Uh, if you're trying to improve your skill set or if you're trying to just put on muscle, that kind of stuff needs to be done during the break. You need to have an assessment in the off right after the season. Hey, where can I get better? And then you spend the offseason on that challenge. Season never really ends. There's the triple. And it's Orlando with the rebound. Coming off that loss against the Nets. Yeah, tough game on the road. The guys you're defending, obviously comfortable shooting in their own building. You've got to find a way to break their rhythm. Yeah, and it's not easy to do. Much easier said than done, but they're capable of making it happen. It just comes down, I think, to will and desire. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. And so New York calls timeout. They're first. And this game, the first chance they've had to see Orlando.
we just get started in this season, let's take a look at where the Magic sit in the NBA stats. You know, and I go back to the, their low turnover numbers. It's not one of those stats that jump out at you, but trust me, turnovers kill you. And their ability to limit their mistakes has been huge. Here's the three. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. The Magic trail by 13. Anthony down low. The putback and the second chance effort by Gordon. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Pretty clear they're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. Count that one. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Well, everything's coming too easily. I mean, at some point defensively, you have to take something away. Shot's good by Anthony. The Knicks leading by 11. Quickly. Vucevic with the block. Denied. Return to sender. That's something you expect from a seven-footer like Vucevic. Now here's Ennis. He's guarded closely. Poked loose. It's stolen by Randall. It's stolen by Ennis. To the middle. Here's Gordon. And then Gordon with the dunk. And this is Gordon's sweet spot. An awesome dunker who loves getting in tight and wrecking the rim. Now Vucevic. He's coming off a 34-point game against Brooklyn. And don't let his defensive work get passed over. With all his steals, he was just as valuable on D as he was at the other end. Well, you look at Vucevic right there. That's clearly a shot that he's worked on. The proof is in the pudding. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. And a physical presence is former Kentucky Wildcat Julius Randle. But, but he's got some mobility to go along with it. Able to move and attack in transition. What's up? You know, people have uh, talked about Julius Randle's game. He's a power driver, isn't he, Greg? I mean, the guy just bulldozes all the way in. I, I like that phrase, Kev. You know, very fluid for his size. A pretty good ball handler and passer. I think his shooting is where he's still filling in the gaps. No good from Ross. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. And the defense is in disbelief here. Triple after triple. When that happens, you simply just hope they start cooling off. So it's Orlando now after New York gets the three. Three-pointer on the way. Doesn't go for him. The Knicks leading by 12. Here's Barrett. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. The number three pick back in the 2019 draft. RJ wanted to play for the Knicks. He knew it wouldn't be easy with all the turmoil last season. Boy, was that an understatement. You know, Greg, you asked Barrett. He said he felt better prepared for the glare of the New York media after his one season at Duke because, you know, playing there is in the national limelight. You're, you're on a star-studded a team. Take a break. Yeah, I mean, playing with Zion Williamson, Cam Reddish, and Trey Jones. Uh, the Knicks could use a little more star talent, though, if they're going to turn the corner. First free throw is good. And what you like about Barrett is his all-around game, a versatile guard slash forward who wants to keep improving. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. The Magic trail by 14. It's stolen by Barrett. Oh, and the jam by Barrett. This guy is a fantastic athlete. Barrett looking like a man on a mission with that slam. 
They're struggling to keep up. And we'll see if they can turn things around, Kevin, timeout, on timeout. this trip. They can't continue to come up empty. Now a timeout called by Orlando. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. Group in for the Knicks. Noel's checked in for Mitchell Robinson. Toppin comes in for Randall. Knox, he's checked in for R.J. Barrett. And it's Austin Rivers in for Reggie Bullock. And it's Gordon finishing it off. And dropping the sledgehammer there. He curbs a 10-0 run by New York. Here's Knox. Can't hit that one. The Magic go the other way with it. From outside the arc... Rebounded by Knox. The Knicks leading by 14. Pass to Noel. Tries again. And it's finished off by Rivers as he lays it in. You've got to box out on the boards. When you don't, that's what happens. Pass to Clark. Kicks to Ross. Here's Birch. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Those are free points you're giving away. you got to work harder on the glass. It's blocked. Here is Ross. 23 points for him the last game against Brooklyn. And there's the call on Austin Rivers. That's his first foul. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And when you're behind in the game, that's what you've got to do. Contest every shot. Ross passes to Clark. Fires from deep. Ross, that's good. Man, I like the three-point stroke of Ross. Gets it off so effortlessly. Man, he's got terrific form. Bucket is good. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to summon up a little more sense of urgency. Yeah, they've got to do a little more to disrupt their offensive rhythm, too. Here are the magic now. The Knicks making the shot. Pass to Ross. For the three. And again, it's the magic from deep. Punch, counter punch. Impressive offensive production early on. Hey, guys, this is going to be fun now. I mean, we've got ourselves a shootout on tap here. Outside Gordon for three. And another three from Ross. Ross has got it back down to a single-digit deficit for the Magic. Oh, great ball movement there. Beyond the arc. And it's Noel missing. And it's the Magic's ball. They're on a 13-4 run right now. And it's Noel with the rebound. Now the Knicks with it. Here's Rivers. Plays it up and banks it in. And the Knicks lead by nine. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. The pass to Gordon. From down in the low post, it goes. Gordon's got 10 points in the game. You know, he's got to be exasperated right now, fellas. I mean, playing excellent ball, but they're still losing. Clearly, the defense could have been better there, guys, but he also needs to convert that. And he bangs it home with one hand. 
And that's a huge play. I mean, they need more like it because second chance points are going to be key in this game. Mm -hmm, probably so. That's usually a crucial element to any comeback. Yeah, and if you look at it, had they been converting those second chances all along instead of waiting until now, who knows? Here's Gordon after Austin Rivers' score. Deep two from Ross, and it's Noel with the rebound. Seven second difference, shot in game clock. Here's Knox, score of the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Really, really good at recognizing the gaps and getting the ball to the rim. Poked away. Now, here's Toppin, defended by Gordon. Toppin, good. When you find yourself up double digits in the first quarter, you know you're doing something right. Well, they're doing everything right. How about that? I mean, this could turn into a blowout very quickly. For three, Ross, that shot no good. So as we end the first quarter, already a double-digit ball game. New York ahead. They're up by 11. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. Recently, we had a chance to speak with R.J. Barrett about what was a trying first year. I hate losing, but at the end of the day, it's part of the game. And um, I feel like you can learn more from a loss than you can from a win. And my teammates have been great. The whole organization has been great. We just, you know, whatever happens, we've kind of been sticking together and, and going through it all together. So that's been good. And Barrett, a guy who's accustomed to winning, at least as an amateur grip. I mean, he won a championship in high school, could have won one in his only year of college. He's going to be a driving force for the organization to get better. And welcome back to our special presentation of the NBA for Martin Luther King Day. And guys, we've seen a confident-looking Knicks team out there today. I mean, offensively, I thought they did a good job of protecting the ball. And defensively, boy, were they disruptive. Yeah, I like the way they forced a ton of turnovers and then took advantage of those turnovers with opportunistic baskets. And so in the game for the Magic, Watson Gordon are the wing. And it's Clark in at the four spot. Orlando shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And, and they've done some really nice work at the foul line, knocking down 80%. Those are good numbers for any team. I mean, they can feel extremely good about their free throw shooting percentage this season. And he knocks down the first one. And so he hits both. The Knicks leading by seven. Second shot opportunity, and it's Noel missing. Well, that's a look he has to finish, and he knows it. Blown opportunity. Covered by Peyton Birch. That's in, and he's now three for three and looking sharp. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Now here's Ross after the miss from Alfred Payton. Well, I cannot believe he didn't capitalize there, and neither can he. Let's it go from 14, and it's Noel missing. You look at him, and he's a little hit and miss from there, even without a defender in his face. No guarantee. Here's Clark. Got a hand on it. It's Rivers on the wing. He's got six, and it's good for two. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control.
Passes it to Birch. Tries from 16. Rebounded by Knox. Knox has got his fourth rebound in this one. Peyton attacking. And it goes for the fifth time in 10 shots for him this game. Well, there's nothing like being unselfish as a player, and Noel was outstanding in that regard. Reading the entire floor and finding his guys for high percentage shots. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. And a wise move to call time out there. Uh, they need to settle down a bit. They've been playing out of control at times here, and it shows with their turnover numbers. The Knicks making a switch here. Barrett's checked in. We've got a chance here, so let's now look at the real stats, real scores from the real NBA, the league's stingiest teams. Second, the Knicks. This is a team that takes pride on the defensive side of the floor. I mean, they play hard and they play together. They are a tough group to score on. Now here's Anthony from deep, and he's good on the three ball. Anthony's got five points so far. Hey, I'm stating the obvious here, but he was very comfortable taking that shot. Not a defender in sight. And here's what the schedule for Orlando looks like. On Wednesday, they'll take on Carl Anthony Towns and the Minnesota Timberwolves. Then on Friday, they'll go up against the Pacers in Indiana. And you know for that matchup with Charlotte. It's the second game of a back-to-back, -back, and you know they're going to be feeling the effects of it. Playing that much basketball in that short amount of time really takes a toll. And the first one at the line is good. That one misses. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Yeah, you know, they're hustling and giving a good effort, that's for sure, but unfortunately, the execution has been lacking. Anthony's shot is off. The Knicks leading by seven. Here's Toppin. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Toppin's got his second bucket. Such a height mismatch out on the perimeter, and they give up the triple. And here is Anthony. He's got five. And the foul on Obi Toppin. That is his first foul of the game. New York on D. At one point, they led by 16. There's Bacon. Yep, it counts. Bacon's got five now. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Orlando with the ball. After the miss from Alfred Payton. It's blocked. This has to energize Barrett. He needs to keep bringing this type of intensity to the defensive end. The Knicks leading by eight. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Seven points in the game. Yeah, taking it right into the teeth of the defense. And, and it's a defense that's starting to look frustrated. Well, they should be. I mean, it has not been a good performance for him at that end of the floor. Now here's Anthony. The 15-footer. It's rebounded by New York. Knox has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. 
And you know what? He's just not on his game, no doubt about it. Their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not been an asset for his team. Knocked away. Peyton with the ball. Now Anthony defending. And the basket by Peyton. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Now here's Ennis. He's got five. It'll go, and the New York leaders timeout, cut timeout. down to 12 points again in the basket from Vucevic. You know, if you're only looking at the way he's played offensively, you'd think his team would have the lead. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Different look for New York. Robinson's checked in for Noel. Julius Randle comes in for Toppin. And it's Reggie Bullock in for Knox. New York leading by 12. Bullock passes to Randle. It falls for the sixth time in seven tries this contest. That's 86%. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range can't happen well if you don't take care of the ball fellas that's what can happen absolutely Greg. that makes the turnover even more painful what you, you mean the throw down at the end i'll tell you what fellas i mean the highlight shows are going to pain them even more birch's shot's good and so peyton will bring it up for the knicks they lead by 14 and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That one on Vucevic. At six foot four, Peyton is a guard that's able to use that size to his advantage in terms of getting inside and drawing foul. The Knicks have only one missed free throw. They've had five attempts and made four of them. And they've been break. ordinary on the season as well, Two just shots. about 75% from the line. That's good from Peyton. Alfred Peyton is known primarily for his playmaking ability. The way he moves the ball is exactly what you want from your point guard. And both free throws good for Peyton. And Orlando has possession. It's a 16-point game. Anthony with it. Robinson picks him up. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's on Mitchell Robinson. The Magic have made all of their free throws so far tonight, going six for six. The first one falls. And getting to the line and hitting your free throws, a, a good way to get back into the game. It stops the clock and extends the game and allows you the opportunity to set your defense. They've been perfect from the line so far here in the second quarter. And Anthony drops them both. Greg, your son's been drafted. You were drafted in the NBA. As you look back on the process that you went through and your son Cole has gone through, uh, what are some of the flags? What are some of the things that stand out to you? First and foremost, 
boy, how time flies. I mean, it wasn't yeah, no that long kidding. ago, at least no it feels kidding. like, that they were calling my <laughs> night, name on draft night. But 91, know, right? Yeah. 91. You know, every stage of life, though, has its joys. And listen, to play the game I love and now see him playing it at this level, it's truly a blessing. And in his case, he, he probably loves it even more. You know, he didn't grow up the way I did. He, he grew up just with a true love and passion for the game. So it's humbling and, and obviously something that I take great pride in. We're taken out of UNLV, 1991, number 12 overall. Remember it like it was yesterday. Here's Anthony. The Knicks making the shot. Knocked loose. Oh, and here comes Robinson all alone. Here's Peyton. Vucevic with the block. And now Orlando on the break. Back to Anthony. Puts it up from 17. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Anthony's got seven points for the quarter. Here's Bullock. Rebound by the Magic. Anthony right side and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line for Orlando they have been at their finest four at the free throw line tonight eight attempts eight makes First one falls for him. And just a much better job of attacking and getting to the line here in the second quarter. Didn't have a single attempt in the first. And Orlando making a change here. Gordon's checked in. Good on both. New York leading by 12. Here's Bullock. Gordon with the defensive effort. Orlando's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. And Clark, you gotta like what Bacon brings to the table. Has some size, strength, athleticism. He can create his own shot, but the consistency has been really up and down thus far. Yeah, I'd agree with you, and I love his motor. He wants to get better. He's working at getting better. And like with most young players, you have to understand when the shot's not going, there are a lot of different ways you can contribute. Bring your energy and definitely bring your energy and activity to the defensive end and on the glass, and you'll always find a spot where you can help your team. What a nice burst. Randall changing ends like a guard that time. Anthony with it. 11 points in the game. Pass to Bacon. Now Vucevic, guarded by Robinson. Vucevic with the bucket. I love the spirit he's shown tonight, particularly on the offensive end. Boy, I tell you what, the hole would be a lot deeper if he wasn't being as efficient as he's been so far. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Uh, adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. So it's both teams making substitutions here. And here we have a rundown of the players you don't want on you when you're putting up a shot. The leaders in blocks over the last month. Fifth, Mitchell Robinson. And guys, as the month has unfolded, his interior defense has gotten better and better. Peyton attacking. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. 
That one on Vucevic. Peyton, extreme quickness on the drive. Sometimes it's impossible for the defense to stay in front of him. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. That one misses, so he goes one for two. And no doubt last season was a bit of a step backwards for Aaron Gordon. After that breakout 2019 season, his numbers just didn't hold up. And you know, Greg, the issue was his shooting. You know, Gordon had a tough time from distance, especially from three-point range. Some of that is, is maybe mechanic, but also shot selection, a part of it. Um, and I also thought he was a little more passive with the ball, maybe a little more indecisive. Um, but again, he's a young player, really young player, so I'm thinking it was probably just um, an off year for him and he'll bounce back in good fashion. Anthony kicks to Gordon. Anthony looking it over. Pass to Ross. And that one is off. Now the Knicks take it the other way. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. Randall no good. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look. But when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. Now here's Ross. He's got 11. And that one is good. Boy, Vucevic, so solid in all fundamentals of the game and really an outstanding passer for a big guy. Pulls up from the corner. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Ten points for him. The Magic trail by 14. Anthony down low, and it's good. Two points. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Quickly score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Now here's Anthony. He's got 13. Fake in the pass to Gordon. Six to shoot. Another shot. Robinson with the block. It's Randall with the drive. Good on the bucket. Randall's got 24 points. You know, guys, every year Randall seems to improve as a scorer. You know, he's looking more and more confident, more comfortable out there scoring the ball. And it's Gordon missing. The Knicks leading by 16. And Barrett the bucket on the assist by Robinson. And it's nine points for R.J. Barrett. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. And, and Kevin, they started the game shooting it so well. I I'm surprised they haven't continued. They've got to get back to their strength. Yeah, I mean, test the hot hand. You're exactly right. I say let those triples fly. Here are the magic now. Mitchell Robinson unable to get his last shot to go in. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Numbers this year at the line below 70. So when he's getting to the line, not nearly as effective as you'd like. And guys, this has not been a season to remember for him at the free throw line. Certainly to this point. And the first one drops for the Knicks. Knox, he's checked in for Julius Randle. And it's Austin Rivers in for Alfred Payton.
And he makes both free throws. The Knicks leading by 14. Here's Rivers. Here's Robinson. Count it. His second make in four attempts. There he is, beasting on the glass, converting the opportunity, trying to put this game away. Well, he enjoys deflating the opposition with those extra possessions. There's 42 seconds left now here in the second. The pass to Gordon. Rebounded by Knox. New York's gone 2-3 when they've stepped beyond the arc in the second quarter. And good that time. Rivers has got four points now in the quarter. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Passes it to Bacon. Pass to Ross. Can't hit from 12. And so a pretty lopsided game through the first half. Knicks out front, running away with this one. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Elford, you guys scored a lot in the first half. What are you doing well offensively? Uh, I think it starts with defense. Uh, we're able to get out in transition. We're getting rebounds and pushing the ball. I think that's what's getting us open looks. Well, we'll see if you can keep doing that in the second half, Alfred. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us, but you get it. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. A fantastic first quarter from Julius Randle. He ended up with 24 points, three steals, and six rebounds. Taking a look at the Knicks, Kenny, what'd you think? Well, they just about ran their offense to perfection. They pounded the ball inside, and the entry feeds were on time and on the money. It was a clinic to watch. The second half is gonna be no contest if they keep getting shots eight feet and in. And Shaq, let's get your input on the Magic. The first thing to say is, what's up with the turnovers? Jeez. You can live with some missed shots and stuff like that, but you can't keep turning the ball over. It's crushing for a team. It just saps all your confidence when you play a half like that, Ernie. Ugh. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. Just go over there. And thanks for joining us again, folks. 2K Sports broadcasting here on MLK Day, bringing you the NBA. We're seeing a tremendous game from Julius Randle. Yeah, pretty much all throughout that first half, and he was taking care of his business on the low blocks and getting more than his fair share of dunks. Guys, he's been in beast mode down low, asserting his will. The defense has been helpless, unable to slow him down. And welcome back to the 2K Sports Broadcast of the NBA, celebrating Martin Luther King Day. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. On the court for the Knicks, Barrett and Randall are in the forward positions. Then it's Mitchell Robinson. Then there's Reggie Bullock. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there, earned those free throws. The Knicks have made seven out of nine when they've stepped to the line. Two shots. And he makes the first. Yeah. 
Both good from the line that time. The Magic shooting at 46%, making some buckets. Anthony on the wing, lets it go from deep. That's in for his fifth field goal of the game. Makes him 5 for 12 so far. Boy, I like how Gordon dishes the ball. When his teammates are open, he finds them on time and on target. Bullock, good. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. Here's Bacon. Vucevic down low, guarded by Robinson. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Quickly, and that's good. Robinson picking up the assist. Robinson's got three assists in the game. Now here's Anthony. 16 points for him. Dennis passes to Anthony. Vucevic trying to get open. Anthony's shot is off. And they're one of four here to start the second half. New York moving it around. And Randall throws it down. You know, once he has the positioning he wants, he's ready for the big finish. Julius Randall throwing it down. Pass to Bacon. Now here's Gordon. Only 20% from the field to start this half. To me, it looks like their opponent may have made some nice adjustments. Count the basket. Bullock's got 14. Talk about execution on the offensive end. They're leaving nothing on the table right now. Yep, they're starting to stretch this lead out. Too much offense to keep pace with. The Knicks have gone four for four from the field since the halftime break. Terrific start to the third quarter. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. Moving it around, eight of their last ten coming off assists. You know, nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. The Knicks have shot nine of 11 at the free throw line. On the free throw, no good. Well, you can't help but think of the dunk contest robbery with Aaron Gordon. It didn't receive max points on some of his dunks that clearly deserved it. Said he's done with the event after the last go. And I can't say I blame him. Here's Bacon. It's good. The assist that time for Menace. Bacon's got a pair of threes now here in the third for the Magic. Here's Bullock, and the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. And with the dunk contest in Aaron Gordon, some of the dunks he pulled off, Greg, were outstanding. I mean, going over Taco Fall was the big one. Uh, the one-handed windmill was impressive as well. Gordon doesn't need a trophy. Everyone knows he's one of the best dunkers we've ever seen. Noel's checked in for New York. And it's Anthony with the ball for the Magic. And the pass to Gordon. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. From the arc, and again, it's the Magic from deep. Twelve straight points off of three-pointers, and the D looks shell-shocked. And guys, now that they're rolling from out there, the defense has to really get up into them. You've got to almost be in their jerseys to try to deny those looks. Here's Anthony, following the basket by Julius Randle. Passes to Ennis. Right side, Gordon. The shot from the low post is good. Gordon's got 12 points in the game. The inside is where Gordon is really most comfortable and effective. Very few defenders can get to a shot given how high he gets up on it. Hits the three-point bomb. And they have come out of halftime in fuego. Down low. 
Bacon gets the bucket. Bacon's got 11 points here in just the second half. Boy, you've got to appreciate the passing there. Results in a great look. Vucevic with the rebound. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Yeah, you know, they're hustling and giving a good effort, that's for sure. But unfortunately, the execution has been lacking. All the time in the world to get that one off. Here's Barrett. Count that bucket. He's got 11. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end. And let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. Here's Anthony after R.J. Barrett's bucket. Ennis in the corner, and it's a defensive three-second violation. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. The defensive awareness, the timing, when you have to face a defender that can reject you like that, it can alter your approach. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Knicks. You know, I thought maybe they'd cool off a bit at halftime, but they've continued to bury the jump shots. You know, they're taking care of business in the paint, too. Those are valuable points they've been getting down low. And so he hits the technical free throw. So both teams changing it up here. to Bacon. Vucevic with it. But three. Anthony trying to get open. And there's Ennis on the assist by Vucevic. Ennis has got four points this quarter. Anthony against Rivers. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Yeah, it's really been quite a contrast. I like the way they're attacking the middle um, at their offensive end. Ennis, good. Three. The Knicks leading by 21. And out of bounds is the Magic will gain possession. And, and a chance here to look at the numbers for Rivers. Averaging nine points per game, two assists, and two rebounds. And there isn't much to write home about with his numbers. I think he'd like to up his contributions. Yeah, but you got to earn that chance. I mean, you get what you earn. His numbers are fine, but he's not going to get a lot more floor time unless he turns it up a notch. Here's Bacon. He's got 20. Let's it fly from 18. And there are the Magic with another bucket. Well, he's been a different player here in the second half, looking much more comfortable on the offensive end. Let's check out the Eastern Conference standings now that we're in the new year. Look at Orlando. They're sixth best right now, looking to make a move up in the standings. And checking out New York, a half game back. Well, I think for New York, they've shown me some very good things this season. But that next step, those qualities that could make them true contenders, just haven't been there. Yeah, and you know, we've seen them enough to know by now they're not going to make that switch from good to great at this point. Not this year anyway. Uses both hands to slam it down. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. No good from Ross. The Knicks leading by 17. Here's Toppin. Makes it off the glass. Toppin's got seven points in the game. It all started with the pass. That's what coaches love to see. Ball movement. Pass to Ennis. Here's Vucevic. And it's Noel with the rebound. Noel's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Bullock. Got a piece of it. Great play by Ross. I mean, using that bouncing ability at the defensive end, love it. Inside. And Vucevic kicks to Birch. Some nice ball movement by the Magic. Ross, that's good. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Yeah, and they either have been unwilling or unable to take that shot away. And so here's Orlando following the miss by Austin Rivers. 
Ennis misses. And now here's Rivers, the fast break opportunity. And he makes good on the way up. 14 points for him. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And you know you're gonna get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. Now here's Vucevic. He's got 19. The offensive rebound. Second chance shot. Plenty of space. That shot, no good. Yet yeah, that's another miss for him. They're behind in this game largely because he shot so poorly. And there it is for him. And the Knicks lead by 20. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. To the inside. Out of bounds as Orlando keeps possession. This is a good chance here to look at the teams with the most second chance points of the season. Here are the real stats, real scores from the real NBA. Fifth on the list, the Magic. And just having a terrific year on the offensive glass, it's because everybody buys in. Not just the big men, but even the guards are getting in on the act. And there's the pass to Ross. Here's Ennis. A three-pointer is right on target. Ennis has got 10 points in just the second half. This guy knows how to get it done. He knows what he's doing out there. A nice job from the three-point line this half. New York calls timeout. Definitely not pleased with their rebounding at the defensive end. The, the number of putbacks they've allowed has been terrible. I'm sure that's what he's going to address during this timeout. Mitchell Robinson's checked in for New York. Alfred Payton comes in for Reggie Bullock. Clark, he's checked in for Orlando. The Knicks leading by 17. Rivers with it. Now guarded by Ennis. And oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Ross with a wide open look. It's good. The assist that time from Ennis. Ennis has got his fifth assist in this one. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. And how. I mean, they're taking this defense to task, taking them to school. Every one of their last 10 points have come in the paint. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. I tell you, we're taking a look at some real deficiencies defensively. I mean, they've given up five straight good looks in the paint. Now here's Ross. He's got 21. Passes it to Birch. Five to shoot. The Magic need to get a shot off here. And Orlando again with the bucket. Boy, they've been terrific from beyond here in the second. Exactly what the doctor ordered. Those three-point bombs will erase the deficit quickly if they can keep it up. And yes, it's good. And that's now 27 points for Alfred Payton. Oh, they own the interior right now. Ten straight points coming from inside. Well, constantly finding lanes to the basket, getting great looks inside. Now here's Ennis. He's got 15. Takes it from 10. And Orlando again with the bucket. Can't be thrown any better. That bounce pass hit him right in stride. And so Peyton will bring it up for New York. 16-point lead. Rebound by the Magic. Birch has got rebound number eight now on the night. Ross on the wing. He's guarded by Rivers. There's the dish to Clark. Inside, here's Ennis. Misses from short range. The Knicks leading by 16. Here's Noel. 
lays it up, and despite of the excellent defense at that, Noel's got his second basket. Well, Orlando shooting it pretty well, close to 50%. Dishes it to Clark. 124 left in the third. Birch's shot's good. Really nice job moving the ball around that time, picking apart that defense. Peyton drives in, and that one, good. Peyton's got 29 in the game. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Now a timeout called by Orlando. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. Different look for New York. Julius Randle comes in for Nerland's Noel. And Barrett subbed in for Peyton. Orlando also making some changes. Vucevic checked in for Kem Birch. Aaron Gordon comes in for Clark. And Bacon subbed in for James Ennis. And that one is hammered home. Taking matters into his own hands. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. And you know, guys, when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim, I really do think it sets the tone for the rest of the team. Here's Bacon. 22 points for him. 40 seconds left to play in the third. Here's Barrett. And it's Orlando with the rebound. Vucevic has got rebound number 12 here already in the game. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Yeah, you know, they're hustling and giving a good effort, that's for sure, but unfortunately, the execution has been lacking. And then Rivers with the dunk. And that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. Twenty-four seconds left in the third. Good for another field goal. Number five in the night. Five for ten shooting. Encouraging signs for him after starting the game poorly. He's picked it up here in the second half. Banked in off the glass. Rivers has got 18 points in the game. You know, so far he's been dominant this period, making the most of his opportunities. Puts up a three. Nailed from three-point land. Tipped away. And so it's the New York Knicks. 13 points up at the end of the period. They've been putting on a clinic in the paint. Shots are falling with regularity, and they are pounding it down low. We come back right after this. again for joining us and welcome back to our special Martin Luther King Day presentation of the NBA. The Knicks leading by 13 on the court for Orlando. At the four and the five we have Gordon and Vucevic. Then it's Terrence Ross and it's Bacon in at the three slot. Here's Barrett and the call will be against Julius Randle. That's his first foul. And Barrett gets it to go. The Magic trail by 15. Back 
Pass to Ross. Fires for three. And again, it's Orlando with the three. Uh, he's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. Yeah, I'd be confident, too, as a matter of fact. I mean, if you're stacking up threes the way he is. I mean, he's doing all his work from behind the arc. And, and they're really in a good position here, thanks in part to the way he's been able to score the basketball. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. And, and really, he played mistake-free basketball up to that point. That's the only time he's turned it over so far. Anthony's checked in for Orlando. And so it's Rendell bringing it up now for the New York Knicks. It's a 14-point game. Quickly, Orlando grabs the miss. Outside, Anthony. Softly drops in the floater. Boy, that was a sweet-looking teardrop. There's very little defense for that. Deep two from Robinson. The good-looking shot from the wing. And the Knicks lead by 14. Well, Orlando shooting at 52% from the field. They're clicking. Pass to Vucevic. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Julius Randle picks one up. Boy, hard to say too much about the craftiness of Vucevic's game. I mean, oftentimes, because he's so clever and so good at drawing fouls, he just toys with defenders. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw drops for Vucevic. And both free throws good for Vucevic. The Knicks leading by 12. Quickly. Good for his eighth field goal. He's attempted a dozen shots. And that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Guys, when you're this hot, it's elementary. Let it fly. Keep staying at it. Ball's knocked loose. Here's Vucevic. And here's Anthony from the arc. Magic working now with a new shot clock. The tray, the shot that time, not on target. Knicks have gone four of seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. And Barrett gets it to go. And you like the toughness there. Barrett being more comfortable having to deal with an aggressive defense. Now the pass to Ross. Here's Bacon. There's the three. Robinson pulls it in. Robinson's got six rebounds now in the game. Now Randall, and it goes out of bounds. That one's off Anthony. Reggie Bullock, he's checked in for the Knicks. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. It's stolen by Vucevic. Fast break, here they come. And it's blocked. Quickly, covered by Anthony. And another turnover here by New York. The Magic trail by 16. Took him no time at all on that one. The Knicks have gone five for nine from the field in the final quarter so far. Randall, and he uses the glass on the layup. Randall's got four this quarter. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. Now here's Vucevic. He gets it in there. 14 points for Aaron Gordon. And Gordon is a guy who's used to being bodied. I mean, he just kind of plays through it, shrugging off the contact and ignoring it, really. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Purposeful passing it is, partner. Their last 10 points have all come off assist. Here's Vucevic, and Vucevic throws it down. 
Boy, the offensive arsenal of Vucevic. Fantastic. When he's rolling like this, watch out. And Barrett with the basket on the assist from Robinson. Robinson's got six assists now in the game. The Magic trail by 16. Anthony, the pass to Bacon. Ross for three. Buries the long-range jumper. Ross has got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for the Magic. And until he cools off, I'd keep the ball in his hand. Oh, oh inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. Here's Anthony. To the middle. Here's Vucevic. Shot by Gordon. Wide open. Basket made. That gives him seven field goals in 13 tries. You know, when Gordon is hitting this all the time, the defense will have to play up on it. Consistency is the key. And he's really made the most of his opportunities today. I mean, he needs to keep working for those kinds of looks. Anthony, the pass to Gordon. Outside Anthony. The shot, no good. The Knicks go the other way with it. Here's Barrett. Ross grabs the board. And so it's Ross. He brings it up for the Magic. Down by 15. Lets it go with a three. Robinson pulls it in. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Magic will take it. The Knicks making a switch here. Payton's checked in. Here's Anthony. Passes it to Gordon. Back to Anthony. Ross on the wing. Trains the three-pointer. Ross has got nine points in the quarter. He has definitely shown up to play. He's done his part, really just trying to battle his team back into it. Basket counts. And say, you want a piece of this? Randall easily getting the better of that exchange. It's stolen by Randall. And now Randall pushing it up, and no one back to stop him. Dude, that's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> that's right. A great defensive play, then the emphatic jump. Well, turning defense to offense, we talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. Ross dishes to Anthony. Some nice ball movement by the Magic. Kept alive. Here's Vucevic. Robinson with the block. Here's Barrett. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. Barrett's got 12 points here in the second half. The Magic trail by 18. Down low. Rock. Oh, that oh was a strong God. dunk. Putting on a show. Ross can elevate with the best of them. Here's Barrett. Rebound by the Magic. Ross has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Yeah, you know, they're hustling and giving a good effort, that's for sure. But unfortunately, the execution has been lacking. Here's Bacon, covered by Peyton. And here's Bullock. Vucevic with the rebound. Ross against Barrett. Fires the three. No good from Ross. New York leading by 16. Oh, and the jam by Pip. And this is Barrett at his best. Looking for a shot, being active on offense. Love it. The Magic shooting 51% from the field. They'll take that. It's stolen by Barrett. From 15 feet away, Vucevic with the rebound. Vucevic has got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. Ross passes to Bacon. Misses from close range. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting it like that. He has been putrid here this quarter. And even with the defense all over him, Peyton refuses to panic. I mean, just takes his time, shrugs off the defense, 
and gets the shot off cleanly. Here's Anthony following the basket by Alfred Payton. The drive by Anthony. He kicks to Ross. Back to Anthony. Shot clock at five. The Magic again can't hit. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Bullock, good. Tremendous court awareness by Payton. So it's Orlando now. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. And Reggie Bullock gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. James Ennis, he'll check in for Ross. To the paint, there's Bacon, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then, Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Boy, picture-perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. And it's Ennis that time on the assist by Anthony. And when he gets it going, this is what can happen. They need to think about the double team now. New York calls timeout. And, Kevin, he saw his, his guys just a little sluggish out there. Oftentimes, a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset. Let's present our New Balance player of the game, Julius Randle. Yeah, and his performance has been a jaw dropper. He must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. He's played up to his full potential tonight, and he's been playing to the crowd, too. He loves being the star attraction, even if it doesn't happen on a regular basis. The Knicks leading by 17. Pass to Bronze Dacus. It's stolen by Ennis. And they're pushing it up. Anthony with it. And it's Toppin picking him up. And since halftime, he has just been ice cold. Just can't seem to get anything to go his way. And Kevin, lots of standing around and, and watching by the defense that time. And he makes them pay, doesn't he, Greg? Huh? With that emphatic slam. And guys, that'll get his heart rate up a little bit. I can tell you that. Watch out. He can be a dangerous player when his motor is revved up that way. Anthony drawing the double team. Vucevic, that one falls coming off Anthony's feet. Vucevic has got 25 points. Well, that's just strength there. That's what we call weight room. The power of Vucevic on display. New York again turning it over. And it's Gordon with the ball. He brings it up for the Orlando Magic. Trailing by 17. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Shooting two. And he can't get the first one. Yeah. 
And he sinks the second. The Knicks leading by 16. Here's Smith. And that one goes long. Magic shooting fairly well in the fourth, uh, around 48%. Gordon with it. Now guarded by Gibson. They grab their own miss and slam dunk by Vucevic. And all of a sudden, things finally coming together for them. The deficit's still large, but now not insurmountable. That kind of deficit, I think they're going about it the right way. I mean, they've got to get aggressive on defense. They need stops. And then you've got to take care of the basketball at the other end so you get a good shot every trip. And here is Anthony after Dennis Smith was able to get the three. Orlando moving the ball around. Snatched up. And Gibson sends it back. A good defender who uses his body well, Gibson is capable of blocking shots. And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I love the tenacity and aggressiveness as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here for New York. Fewer miscues made the difference. Yeah, I mean, a great all-around effort. Not only did they minimize their turnovers, but kept the pressure up on D, forcing the other team to commit turnovers. And now, for the year, this is going to take them to seven wins. And so they win their first game against this squad. It's a two-game season series, and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. When it is just a two-game season series, the team winning game one has that slight mental edge going into the second meeting, knowing they've already solved their opponent one time and only have to do it one more time. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Julius Randle. Every time he shot it, it seemed like it was going to drop in. And if it didn't, everyone was surprised. Shots good by Bone. Oh, perfect timing there to knock down the teardrop. They're making this a runaway. And the only question for me right now is just how big the lead will eventually become. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. And Toppin throws it down. And you can sense that these fans, these players, they are ready to celebrate. And I think they can start that celebration right now. I mean, what a terrific team victory. Six second difference between the shot and game clock. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Yeah, terrific play right there. Great strength to finish through the contact. That's exactly how it should be done. Get the bump, concentrate on the shot, and you'll get the bucket too. And that one misses. So far, we've seen them be a bit careless with the ball. Simply put, out of control is how they played thus far. They're going to have to reel it in and show some more discipline. And it's Orlando's ball. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Rivers. And finished off by Rivers. Can't leave anybody open around Smith. I mean, he finds them quickly. Love his court awareness. Gordon with it. So no problem for New York as they get the win. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Julius. Now look, you're banging in the paint, but what do you see from your backcourt? Uh, they do a great job of, you know, they obviously can score the ball, but getting us into things and running the offense very well and uh, leading the team that way. Well, they led you to a win tonight, Julius. Thank you for your time. Kevin? David, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Olden, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. And we'll see you next time.